All right, I'm Justin Franson here with Dr. Andrew Palos. He's a dentist, one of the most sought after in Orange County, California. Thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Yeah, so we are honored and privileged to have him join us. And a lot of you are wondering, like, how do we get a dentist to speak on EMF, electricity, radiation, and pollution? And the answer is, is when his name first came up, through a mutual friend, colleague that we work with, Dr. Annie Zazowski. He's like, I have a guy, he's into EMF, he wants to solve this challenge, and it's everywhere. And so not only being the top dentist around town, holistic dentist, may I add, he has such extensive knowledge in this topic. So knowing that mercury really affects the body, and I've had mercury toxicity, I had fillings removed improperly, like all that stuff. Let's hear from the doc. How did you get involved with EMF? Well, okay, can I tell you about mercury? Yes. Okay, when I was in undergraduate school, I majored in physics. I, well, okay, let me just introduce myself a little bit. I, I skipped junior high school because I didn't speak English and I was brought here when I was 12 years old. And uh, then I finished a four year high school in three years and I ended up at the University of California at age 16 with hardly speaking English with a dictionary in my pocket. Wow. Okay. So I was a physics major at the time. Mm -hmm. Eventually I, I switched to biochemistry mm -hmm. and UCLA and I learned that mercury is one of the most toxic elements on earth except plutonium. Wow. So I was impressed with that. Then I worked for five years after I graduated mm -hmm. in a think tank under a secret clearance for the Department of Defense and we did a bunch of research, mm -hmm. only research in this place called the Aerospace Corporation. And after that I applied to dental school and I attended dental school from 1978 to 82. Mm -hmm. That's just a few buildings down from the biochemistry building. I was class president three years in a row, which was unique at that time, and I asked why are we putting mercury in people's teeth since mercury is known to be a poison? And the explanation was for 150 years we've been doing this that would be some evidence that it must be okay. Secondly, we believe when the mercury is amalgamated in amalgam, it becomes a solid and does not escape. Mm -hmm. Now, that was the line. And in 1982, when I was a senior in dental school, there was a Dr. Jerome who invented a what was called the Jerome Mercury Vapor Analyzer. Mm. And we found out if you put that in somebody's mouth who has amalgam fillings, if that person were a building, we would shut you down. Wow. <laughs> but because we're under the jurisdiction of the FDA, not the EPA, the only legally acceptable place for mercury today to store it is in people's teeth. Unbelievable. We can't dump it in the trash. We can't. It's considered a hazard. Mm -hmm. As soon as we remove it, and you can't flush it down the toilet, there is, it's a biohazard, okay? Now, the thing is, the reason I tell this story is that this issue was resolved by simply inventing a mercury vapor analyzer that could measure the amount of mercury actually escaping from fillings. Mm -hmm. It totally settled the controversy and everyone had to change their line. Then the line became, well, we have no proof that it hurts people, even though we know it's like the most toxic poison except for plutonium. Wow. So it should not be a big brainer, in my opinion, that's a settled issue. Right. What's happening with electromagnetic fields is that there's a controversy. And I want to introduce this book called The Invisible Rainbow. Awesome. Okay, I just received it this week. I just learned about it about a week ago, and it's called The History of Electricity and Life. And in this book, I'm gonna read uh, certain portions. It says the assumption of safety and the conviction that electricity has nothing to do with life are by now so entrenched in the human psyche 
that new research and the testimony by those who are being injured are not enough to change the course that society has set. Wow, well said. Isn't that great? Oh, so so what, true. what's happening is that electricity, we don't think, affects biology. And it's my experience, and I've learned this now over a period of 18 years, because I met a doctor. His name is Yoshiaki Omura. He's a medical doctor, and he has a doctorate of science from Columbia University, and he studied advanced physics there. And he invented a test Called, he called the O-ring test. He mm -hmm. calls it bi-digital O-ring test. And th by that test, it's a technology that's patented. He patented it. He invented it. And he's upgrading it all the time. Mm -hmm. This year, just in April 2018, there was a huge upgrade for me in this technology where we're now we believe that we're testing the magnetic field separate from the electromagnetic field which is really marvelous. Wow. Because both should be healthy for us mm -hmm. in order for us to survive and thrive. Okay? So now we can measure based on the magnetic characteristics of whatever we're looking at, like that light down there or that light. Um, w whatever we're looking at, we can measure on a scale of minus 12 to plus 12 how that affects us. Mm -hmm. And it takes only moments to do this. It's a big blessing. Mm -hmm. So now we have this new research that obviously will be rejected because everything new has always been rejected. And the truth is really hard to come by. Mm -hmm. So Winston Churchill said, men occasionally stumble over the truth, mm -hmm. but most of the time they pick themselves up and hurry off as if nothing had happened. Wow. And that's what we're encountering. And that's the society. That is what is being entrenched in the human psyche is that we don't have problems with electromagnetic fields. Mm -hmm. And it's very hard to convince people otherwise. There's another book here I want to show. It's called Science Blind. And it shows that we are blind to science. We are blind to truth by our natural instincts. And the subtitle is, Why Our Intuitive Theories About the World Are So Often Wrong. And, you know, being a physics major, I realized that very, very early on, what we intuitively think is not really the way things work. Mm -hmm. All right, that's how it is with electromagnetic fields. Now, may I continue? Please do. I'm not going to stop you now. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm so the thing, <laughs> the thing about this and one more thing I'll quote. This is John F. Kennedy at a commencement address uh, at Yale University in 1962. He said, The great enemy of truth is very often not the lie. The lie is deliberate and dishonest. But the myth, the myth is persuasive, pervasive, and unrealistic. That is our problem. It's something we believe is true and is not true. We may sincerely believe it's true. Now, with electromagnetic fields, as with many other things, as I was researching this last night, I uh, Googled some things. Like, uh, the question was, is ultrasound safe? Because we're do it, using it on pregnant women with mm -hmm. babies and mm -hmm. so forth. And the answer was, there is no evidence that it is not safe. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is safe. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, since there is no evidence that it is safe, how about it's not safe until we know it's safe? Well said. Okay, that's a better approach. I second that. Okay. The reason is, here's what's happened. And I'm going to kind of excerpt from what I read in this book. Oh, by the way, if you get this book, it is hard to put down. When you get it, I'm getting when it. I have it on order okay. as well. Thanks. Okay. Thanks to Dr. Palos. <laughs> it is hard to put down. The guy is excellent. <laughs> and, um, here's what happened. In the, in the uh, introduction to this, or in, in the endorsements in the back, mm -hmm. the first one says, the, the author's name is Furstenberg. Furstenberg makes a compelling case mm -hmm. that the major diseases of civilization, heart disease, diabetes, and cancer, 
are in large part related to the pollution of our world by electricity. Mm. Dr. Go. Bradley Johnson, MD. Okay, so what is going on? What is going on is that the earth is becoming polluted. The surface of the earth is not what it used to be. It used to be very healthy. You take a walk on grass, you would feel regenerated because you're getting electrons that are healthy into your system to balance you. Right, they, and we call it earthing, grounding. Earthing and grounding. There's books on that, right? Yes, yes. In fact, there's a movie, a video, that I, that I want to talk about because mm -hmm. this is called Heal for Free. Heal for Free because if you walk on the earth and it's a positive, healthy environment, you heal for free because electrons, we have shown, you can measure it, electrons come from the earth into our bodies and we heal for free. Electrons are exactly. a big deal. They, they quench free radicals, etc. It's a beautiful thing to have healthy electrons. What happens is in this movie that where they interview experts, it is clear that it's not consistently true that we heal for free just by so-called grounding. Interesting. And the reason, now I theorize mm -hmm. by my measurements that the reason is the ground is no longer healthy wow. everywhere. Wow, wow, wow. We I have believe to find it. healthy ground. Yeah. Otherwise, you plug something into a dirty ground. We call it dirty ground. It's called dirty electricity, mm -hmm. dirty power, mm -hmm. which I really want to explain because my theory was the earth surface mm -hmm. is contaminated and polluted and no longer healthy for us. Mm -hmm. And we can also find, hopefully, healthy earth. Great. Now, at my house, I had to dig three feet down to get healthy earth. Wow. Okay, that means the 36 inches of the surface at my house are polluted. I can't really heal from them. Wow. Right. Wow. So, uh, what happened is this. I'm going to explain it because the only book I've ever found, that's why I'm so excited about this. Uh, this man, is a, uh, he's a medical doctor from mm -hmm. UC Irvine, mm -hmm. and he went to medical school during the same years that I went to dental school at UCLA. Mm -hmm. He was at UC Irvine. And his career was uh, aborted by overexposure to x-rays. And he also has this problem where he can hear, and it drives him nuts, the frequencies that most people cannot hear that are made by radio. Right, noise they're noise ultrasound. pollution. Yeah, they're invisible, but they just dolphins communicate through frequency, whales, like these these are sounds that we don't normally hear, but some people do, and some people it's do. noise pollution. Uh, it drives sure. him nuts because right. he could no longer find silence Wow. at a certain point in his life. And it's because we are being inundated by this rain, or rain, he calls it invisible rainbow, we are being inundated by electromagnetic fields. Wow. Mostly the problem is it's polluted electricity. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me do this. Computers, uh, printers, copiers, fax <coughs> machines, virtually all modern electronic equipment are putting tremendous amounts of high frequencies, high frequencies, mm -hmm. into the power grid, which was designed to transmit 60 cycles per second. The electrons in the wires, once they pass through a computerized device, mm -hmm. vibrate not only at 60 cycles, but at frequencies extending throughout the ultrasonic as well as radio frequencies. And the entire grid is being massively polluted. This is what wow. is in the book. Wow, wow. The grid is polluted. All right. High frequencies increase the temperature of the wires, shorten their lifespan, degrade their performance, and force substantial amounts of electric current to return to the power plant through the earth instead of through return wires. Hmm. All right, that confirms to me that the earth is polluted from all the electricity, and that was my theory. Right. We have all these electrons, we have all these pavements, we're tearing down so many trees. Uh, every, the, tree, the reason I say trees is they have roots that go down for more than 36 inches mm -hmm. and grab healthy electrons. And they become antennas for us where we have a reprieve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're really excellent. Even worse, he says, all of the high-frequency currents 
coursing through the earth, high frequency currents coursing through the earth and the high frequency electromagnetic fields vibrating through the air. So you have two categories of things here. They are making millions of people sick. This is what he says. Okay. Society has been and is in denial about that. That's what I was reading to you. Definitely. Excuse me, I'm going to grab some water. Yeah. That is just incredible, you guys. I mean, this is, we're just hearing from experts that the earth is really under attack. And the, not only the first topsoil, we already know this from Dr. Zach Bush and the whole Monsanto and glyphosate story and, and how glyphosate's in 70% of the rainwater or more in the Mississippi River Valley and many parts. It's a thousand times more prevalent in our urine, human urine today than it was 20 years ago. I mean, that alone's killing it, but then you add in frequencies and the whole entire topsoil is being diminished. That's the charge. That's where we get our energy. It's unbelievable. That's very good. Yep, so when you're taking a walk, there might be a current flowing there back to the power plant because the earth is trying to ground everything. It's wow. taking care of us. Mm -hmm. It's taking care of us naturally. And near the ocean is probably the best place to walk as long as the water is not in bad shape that day because that's close it's being washed all the time mm -hmm. and you know that's excellent all right so why is it so we have these simple things these these are called switch mode chargers for cell phones and for computers okay this is this is a charger these are low voltage direct current power supply mm -hmm. okay and we, we call them a charger because you, you plug in a USB uh, line here and then you charge your cell phone. Right. Okay. So whatever this is plugged into, that's the charge mm -hmm. you're going to get. Right. This transforms from 110 AC, alternating current, to 5 volts DC. But what he's saying is this, is, this is what blew me away. This is one of the main pollutants of the earth. And you've seen it. You've got one down here. Uh, mm -hmm. You know... We have it all, a uh, laptop, we have it f uh, for copiers, we have it for computers, televisions, printers, etc. It has one glaring fault. Instead of delivering pure direct current, it pollutes the electric grid, number one, the earth, number two, the atmosphere, number three, and even outer space with a broad range of frequencies. This little device, of which there are millions and millions which has really helped us to be more precise. I, I don't know if you remember, the old ones were really heavy. Mm -hmm. They were transformers oh, yeah, yeah. that were just, you know. But this, what it does, wow. the new invention to make it more efficient, uh, what it does is it interrupts the current flow tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands times per second, chopping up the current. And that's why you can set it so precisely to regulate wow. voltage, but it typically, because of that, operates not at 60 cycles per second, but at 60 kilohertz. Not 60 hertz, but 60 kilohertz, wow. which is in the frequency, uh, radio frequency of the electromagnetic spectrum. So now, instead of 60 hertz, which is the main voltage that carries most of the information, mm -hmm. uh, instead of just that being pure, mm -hmm. it's now polluted by... 60 kilohertz. Wow. That's 60,000 cycles per second. Wow. Now, the main thing, and I was going to show you this, and I didn't have time. I was going to bring my router, mm -hmm. because my uh, router is a 5G router. Okay. Okay? Your phone is probably a 4G phone. Mm -hmm. We're getting 5G in the router. Mm -hmm. That is much higher than 60 kilohertz. It is 5 billion hertz. Mm -hmm. 5G, G means giga, and it's billion. Mm -hmm. Cycles per second. That's faster than our brain works and processes. Mm -hmm. So this is the processing speed for computers and for cell phones. Mm -hmm. And our cell phones are now processing like our brains. Now, here's the thing. I want you to really understand this. We, as human beings, mm -hmm. are electromagnetic beings. Right. 
we have an electrocardiogram. It records the function of our heart. It's, they don't put electricity in. They're measuring the electricity that flows in our hearts that, that our cardiovascular system uses. Mm -hmm. We have electroencephalograms, EEG, for the brain. Mm -hmm. The brain puts out and works, operates at a certain voltage. Right. And all we're doing is picking that up by putting electrodes there. Mm -hmm. When you go to a neuro neurologist because you have pain, they may do an electromyogram, and they measure the current that operates your muscles. Right. So how can you think that we, operating at a very peaceful and quiet and calm level of electrical current, that we are not affected by these unbelievably high frequencies. Mm -hmm. So here's what we found, working with Dr. Mora over 18 years. Mm -hmm. Here's the devastating thing. We can bring people to the highest level of vitality of which we are capable. We call that a plus 12. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they pick up the cell phone, mm -hmm. it goes down to minus 12. Mm -hmm. And if you hold the cell phone for one minute and then drop it, it takes 10 minutes to recover. So if you're on the phone for 100 minutes or 10 minutes, it's 100 minutes. That's a large part of your day. Wow. 10 minutes per minute. So it's 10 times. You pay a prize for 10 fold. 10 minutes to recover. 10 fold time. So one minute is 10 minutes. 10 minutes is, becomes 100 minutes to recover. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it's unbelievable. All right. So what I wanted to say. Just turn off that light. <laughs> That's the first thing he has. He's like, he has a just light to get rid of the so light. It's negative. so bright. See, it, 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 we got it. But that's OK. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> we're inundated. Now, look, this is a dental office. We take x-rays right here. Got to be able to see us just for a little bit. With the, uh, with the x-rays, people say, are you going to cover me with right, a lead right, apron? Right. Oh, yeah, we're going to cover. Are you going to protect me You know, mm -hmm, with the lead mm -hmm. OK. But you don't think about that when you turn on your Wi-Fi right. and you have a five gigahertz mm -hmm. exposure that goes through, well, I, my Wi-Fi in the parking lot, I can drive halfway around my building and still pick it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. it goes through the walls, it and, goes through this is lead a, walls that we have here. It's a big building. It's a big building <laughs> and I can pick it up. Now, when you turn on your cell phone for Wi-Fi, you, the, the, your phone is reaching out, pinging so many times per second yeah. to find out what wireless networks can I connect to. Right. Where can I, and you may get 10 or 20, you know, some places mm -hmm. where we live, you get 20 types of. You know, oh, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know what's, what are you going to choose? we got to stand in there. There we go. Okay. I want to be able to see you. Yeah. I'm disappearing. <laughs> Not at all. No, this is unbelievable. So you guys, we're hearing so much information on, on starting with mercury and then how it affects us. So if we were to get exposed with lots of mercury in us, what is the effect that you're going to see in the body? Well, okay, this is the reason it's not clear. It's a, we know it's a severe poison, mm -hmm. and instead of believing that, we you know, eat mercury all day long if we have those fillings. Now, I, as a dentist, I've removed mercury fillings for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. People say, well... You're not falling over, mm -hmm. right? Well, I work on it. I really work on it a lot. Some of us get affected. It's a neurotoxin. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, it can affect you. Oh, definitely. What it does is it reduces your vitality. Dr. Omura found every cancer has mercury involved. Mm -hmm. Every Alzheimer's has mercury. Mm -hmm. Every autistic child has mercury. And virtually every disease, cardiovascular disease, wow. has mercury involved. And electromagnetic fields are one, he, he considers it the number one contributing factor. We don't say it's causative, but the number one contributing factor that if you don't eliminate that, it is very difficult to heal. Exactly. That's the biggest point. That's one of the biggest yes. points. Thank you for saying that because it's so giant. I mean, we're talking about, you know, hey, like it's, it's like a slow process, like you're going to get sick over time, but what about the people who are already sick? They're just not getting well. And it's because they're inundated with the stressor. It's a huge, huge topic. That's a huge point. 
And this book, I haven't read that part, but it says that, you know, these major diseases are all related to electromagnetic pollution of the earth. Yeah. So that, I mean, you know. Anyway, what I'm trying to do is to say, please consider this. Please consider that just because we can't prove it's bad, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean it's good. Mm -hmm. Now, because of Dr. Omura, we have a way to measure. We can measure your vitality level, and it's, believe me, it's dynamic. It depends on what you eat, mm -hmm. depends on what you wear, depends on the exercise you've done, mm -hmm. what you've driven through, whether you have uh, a cell tower right near you, etc. Mm -hmm. This is about to go off. So, many, many things affect us. It's mm -hmm. a dynamic thing. The good news is, I, I don't want to present as bad news. Uh, f usually, I have found mm -hmm. that for all the bad news, mm -hmm. there's always good news. Mm -hmm. And for my health problems with the mercury and et cetera, I'm way better today, 18 years later, than I was you know, 18 years ago wow. with Dr. Amora. So I feel Amazing. really good about it, and I'm not the only one saying it. People here who see me mm -hmm. say it. Mm -hmm. They say, your vitality level, wow, it's really better. So I, I know that. I know that for myself right. and other people who have other objective ways mm -hmm. to measure, you know, they're complimenting me, and that's wonderful. Yeah, that's so for every bad thing, there's good news. So when we access the healthy part of the earth, mm -hmm. it brings back a protective environment ah, and that's what I'm working on right now just last weekend I tested my theory and it is way better the results are way better than I ever expected well you guys yeah, yeah. Dr. Palos is not only an amazing dentist but he's also inventing something really special and he's so preliminary on it that he doesn't want to share too much of it from what I've heard but again it's, well, it's that could be wrong I'm, I want yeah, to test it. But, but again, it's something that you guys have the essence of it, but it's really connecting to a deeper part of the earth where the earth is healthy. So just such brilliant concepts that we haven't heard on the show and are on the summit. And guys, any, any it final words? Problem. It solves this problem where there's inconsistent results with grounding. Oh, definitely. And it makes a lot of ground. sense. Yeah, it's yeah. It's so common sense. Because I can go, you can go and do Qigong. Uh, do, uh, I do lots of movement breathing, and there's times where you can just root really easy, and then there's other times where you're just like, okay, come on. And you think it's you. I think it's me because I'm not uh, a master in it at this time. But but it sounds like there's a lot of challenge with the earth, too. So we got to give that earth some love and, and, yeah. And start yeah. to help facilitate well, healing it. Let me just say, on one side of my house, I have a satellite receiver. Mm -hmm. That means it is receiving movies. It is receiving incredible amounts of information right. through the air. And it's, it's not just that little shield that's picking it up. Right. It's all over my house. Yeah. And movies are crashing through the walls. <laughs> all, all of this information, just yeah. like when I send something to the printer from my phone, right. how does that get there? Right. It's a mystery. On the other side, our neighbors installed nine solar panels oh, no, to that's convert not... light into electricity. That conversion mm -hmm. is very similar to the transformer here. It transforms one form of energy to another. Very upsetting. Yeah, so real quick, I know we're running out of time, yes. but nope, uh, slide in a little bit. Let's, ta let's talk to them about dirty electricity real fast. Well, that, that's it. Yeah. I mean, uh, that, there we go. The I know you just teed it up. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, I got you. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. The, no, the dirty electricity, you guys, is the sparking in the line. Solar panels is a big part of it. Yes. He's getting affected when your neighbors are. I started to hurt when in my bed, and I couldn't figure it out. Suddenly, my bed is testing minus twelve. Wow. And it was because of that wall that's directly adjacent to or facing the solar panels. Nine of them. Yeah, that's unbelievable. So California thinks we're saving electricity, yet we're throwing up grids on every every light pole with electricity and EMF and radiation and microwaves. And then we're putting solar panels to cut down the electricity. We're adding it here, taking it out of here, but when we add solar panels on, it just causes tremendous health challenges. And that's so that's the problem. That it's a massive spark in the line and it'll it'll blow out an entire block from the testing that I've done and the clearing that I've done. I mean, it's it's not just one house. It's the whole row will test 
super high. Obviously, the closer to it, the stronger it's going to be. But you're still looking at massively high levels of dirty electricity that far surpass our, our body's safe levels. This is the old-fashioned incandescent light bulb oh, that's been with anymore. us for 140 years. It is still so good. Yeah. And this book says that people, nations, have bought into what he calls the insanity of fluorescent lights as being superior. Every fluorescent, fluorescent light has mercury vapor in it. Mm. And we're polluting the earth because we're throwing those things away and we're have mercury pollution everywhere everywhere oh yeah and that mercury vapor gets agitated and produces a certain field and then that is what turns uh, a chemical into visible light mm -hmm. unbelievable well you guys you heard it from dr palos this is a tremendous tremendous talk because we he went far and above and beyond so thank you dr palos appreciate well, it well. so it's such an honor and privilege so thank you for going beyond with us stay tuned for more